What's up? I'm Vin, and today I want to go through this fraction word problem. So we have Farmer Fergus's animals ate a large number of sunflower seeds. And are now so the vet prescribed 10 cups of laxatives, and this is the exact amount needed to relieve all of the animals. However, the instructions are incomplete. We know that the horses require one and one fourth cups each. The sheep need one quarter cup each, and the recommended amount for the cows is missing. And we know that Farmer Fergus has two horses, seven cows, nine sheep. But the actual question is how many cups should each cow be given? So for this, it could help to start out with the total. We know that in total there are 10 cups. And what we're going to do is we're going to find out the amount of cups that the animals need. And that's going to help us find how much each cow needs. So let's start first with the horses. So the two horses... Remember, the horses need one and one-fourth cup each. So what we could do is we could multiply two times one and one-fourth cup, and that'll tell us how many cups that the horses actually need. So for this one, it helps to convert the mixed number into an improper fraction. So what you should be thinking of is one and one-fourth. If you want to convert this into a improper fraction, you're going to multiply four times one, and then you're going to add the result of that to the numerator here. So see how we have a one in the numerator? So we're just gonna tack on plus one here. And then our denominator is gonna just stay the four that we had when we started. So four times one is four and plus one is five. So if we wanna rewrite this as an improper fraction, that would be five fourths. So we could just do two times five over four and that's gonna tell us how many cups that the horses need. So for this one here, I would rewrite two as two over one because when we want to multiply fractions, we're going to multiply the numerators and the denominators. So we're going to have 2 times 5 over 1 times 4. And we're talking about cups here. And now if we multiply this, that's going to give us 10 over 4 cups. And now this we could just reduce. So we're going to divide the top and bottom by 2. And this is going to give us 5 over 2 cups. So now we can move on here to the sheep. So there are 9 sheep in total. So how many cups of laxatives do all the sheep need. So if we look at this, the nine sheep need nine times, we have one fourth of a cup each. So we're gonna multiply nine times one fourth. And this one's gonna be easier because we just call this nine over one. And now we're just multiplying nine times one is nine over one times four is four. So the sheep need nine over four cups. And we'll just go ahead and make this plural over here. So now for the cows, we know that there are seven cows, but we don't know how much they need each, but what we do know is how many cups are in total, and we know how much the horses and the sheep need. So now we could subtract. We could do 10 minus, and I'm going to leave a little space here because we're going to have to make common denominators in a moment. So we have 10 minus, and we're going to subtract the 5 over 2 cups for the horses, and now we're going to subtract the 9 over 4. Because once again, whatever the remaining amount is, remember there's an exact amount for all of the animals, so the remaining amount is going to go to the 7 cows. And this, we're talking about cups of laxatives. So now, we should find common denominators. So this, I'm going to call 10 over 1. The common denominator would be 4. So the first term, I would multiply by, let's just make that a little neater. I would multiply this by 4 over 4. And now, if I want to make a common denominator for this one, I would multiply by 2 over 2. The last fraction, we could leave alone because it's already with a denominator of 4. So now we work this out. This is going to work out to, we're going to have 40 over 4. So that's our first term. Minus, we're going to have 10 over 4. And then we're subtracting 9 over 4. And once again, this is cups of laxatives like this. So now the next thought process here, when I'm subtracting fractions, notice all of our denominators are the same. What I'm doing is I'm just working with the numerators. I'm doing 40 minus 10, and then I'm subtracting 9. And just remember, order of operations, we have PEMDAS here. Some people use, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally to remember. But when all you have is addition and subtraction, you could just move from left to right. So I'm doing 40 minus 10 is 30 and 30 minus 9 is 21. So when we simplify this, this is going to be 21 over 4 cups. But remember, we're trying to find out how much each cow should be given. So we have the amount for 7 cows. So to find out how much each cow needs, we could say each cow needs, and now we're going to take the total amount here for the 7 cows, and we're going to divide it by 7. So we have 21 over 4, and we're going to divide this by 7. And this is going to tell us how many cups each cow needs. But remember, when we're dividing fractions here, I'm going to write 7 as 7 over 1. And when we divide fractions, you could use the technique keep, change, flip. So we're going to keep the first fraction the same, 21 over 4. We're going to change the operation to multiplication. And then we're going to flip the second fraction to 1 over 7 like this. And now there's a few ways we could go forward with this. I could just do 21 times 1 
divided by four times seven, or this is a nice way to do this. You could cross cancel. I could say 21 divided by seven is three. So I could cross both of these out and say 21 divided by seven is three. And now I could simplify three times one is going to give us three. And then there's an invisible one left on bottom. Four times one is equal to four. So each cow is going to need three quarter cups of laxatives. So now the animals have enough laxatives so that they could all... <laughs>